and having that discussion, and that's what we're prepared to do. And those absolutists out there, those absolutists out there who are babyish in their approach to copyright legislation, who think that any idea that copyright reform will, would be an attack on individual citizens are people who frankly don't get it. And um, let me amend what I said then just a minute ago. <laughs> don't ignore those voices. Those people who are out there who are saying that copyright legislation, copyright reform is not good, these are people who are dressing up the fact that they don't believe in copyright reform at all, right? Those people out there who don't believe in copyright at all, they will say, well, Bill C-61, the old copyright legislation, we disagreed with these specific provisions. Well, Bill C-32, we have these specific amendments. Never, don't fool yourself. These voices that are out there, these people out there who pretend to be experts at the media site all the time, they don't believe in any copyright reform whatsoever. And they will find any excuse to oppose this bill, to drum up fear, to mislead, to misdirect, and to push people in the wrong direction, and to undermine what has been a meaningful, comprehensive, year-long effort to get something right. This hasn't been done as I said, since 1997, three years after I graduated high school. <laughs> it's been a long time. We need to amend our legislation. And those people out there who try to pretend that they're copyright experts and they want to amend copyright in a meaningful way, don't be fooled by some of these people. They don't believe in any copyright. They don't believe in, in indiv individual, individuals' right to protect their own creations. And when they speak, they need to be confronted. If it's on Facebook, if it's on Twitter, or if it's on a talk show, or if it's in a newspaper, confront them and tell them that they are wrong. Canada, from the Hudson Bay Company, through FTA and NAFTA, to the G8 and G20, Canada always has been, always will be a trading nation. Our future and our past and our prosperity has always been dependent on investment into Canada, being in compliance with international standards, opening ourselves up to the world, welcoming investment, and working with the world, not being an outlier in the world, disregarding international treaties like WIPO that we've signed, disregarding our obligations to protect foreign investment into Canada, Canadian investment into Canadian businesses. We need to protect those investments, protect those jobs, and make sure that those voices who try to find technical, nonsensical, fear-mongering reasons to oppose copyright reform are confronted every step of the way, and they are defeated. And when we do that, this bill will pass, and Canada will be better for it. Thank you.